Lots has been talked about with the Catholic Church in the United States, and there's a new book to talk all about it. It's called The Global Vatican by Ambassador Francis Rooney. Ambassador, thank you and welcome, and join. Uh, thanks for joining us here on the Big 550 KTRS here in St. Louis. Thank you, McGraw. I appreciate the opportunity. You were the ambassador to the Vatican under George W. Bush, correct? Correct. And if memory serves me correct, uh, was it not Ronald Reagan who opened up diplomatic ties with the Vatican? Yes. President Reagan uh, raised the uh, United States mission to an ambassador level uh, in, in 1983. Uh, there had been personal representatives by presidents off and on in the past, like President Roosevelt sent a uh, leading industrialist uh, to take advantage of the Vatican's neutrality and uh, partner with the Vatican to oppose Hitler. But it was Reagan that, that brought the full-fledged ambassador-level mission. And it's interesting because the Vatican is inside Italy. So you were an ambassador inside Italy just for the Vatican. That's right. And, and in the book, there's some interesting things about how that's worked out in the past using, like I say, World War II, the Vatican neutrality was a very important uh, asset for the United States in, in, in trying to conduct limited diplomacy behind the, the uh, Axis powers. Yeah. Uh, 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 how did you, were, were you, how were you picked for this? What, what were your credentials and qualifications for the job? Well, I'd, I'd done a lot of things with the president. He'd, he'd sent me on a couple of missions when, during the first term, and I'd, I've been on many uh, state uh, public uh, boards and, and things over the years, so I was pretty well used to the public environment. Been actively involved in Republican politics for many years, and had worked hard on the president's campaigns. Were you Catholic? Are you Catholic? Oh, yeah, for sure. And yeah. then, you know, I was international president of YPO at one point, so I've traveled all around the world. I think I've been in almost 100 countries at one time or another. Uh, uh, and, and, and please, um, please uh, uh, accept this question in the way I ask it. I'm Catholic, too, but I'd be a little leery of becoming the ambassador to the Vatican. Did, did you learn a whole lot about your faith while being ambassador? Well, I learned a lot about everything while being ambassador. You know, I come from Oklahoma, which is nearby to you, uh, where we have 3% Catholics. And so it was a, it, I didn't know very much about the, the role the Holy See had played in diplomacy and in shaping world events over the years. And, um, and so I, it was a tremendous learning experience there. And I also learned a little more about Catholic, Catholic doctrine. You know, the State Department prepares you so well for these posts. They gave, it, gave us a long reading list that my wife and I read, including a lot of the writings of uh, Pope Benedict prior to becoming Pope. Right. Uh, the Catholic Church was somewhat outspoken uh, during your time there. Was it not in terms of some of the things the United States was doing? Well, prior to, to, the, to my time there, the Vatican had, had uh, spoken out vigorously against the second Iraq invasion. And, and by, when I got there, I, I, I uh, raised the issue with the Pope in my credentialing visit, and he, he said that enough had been spoken about Iraq, and it was time to work together to build stability and, and bring peace to the people of Iraq, which I thought was a real good thing, uh, that we could put Iraq behind us and focus on the many things where the United States and the Holy See can work together to uh, execute the, the same principles of our foreign policy, which are, are aligned with the Holy See. Interesting. The book is called The Global Vatican. Ambassador Francis Rooney uh, is the author, and it's an inside look at the Catholic Church, world politics, and the extraordinary relationship between the U.S. and the Holy See. How much, um, Ambassador, do we know, and how much are all the back channel on negotiations that we do not know? Well... You know, that's one of the one of the interesting facets of Holy See diplomacy uh, is that they're not a territorial sovereign and they're not a hegemonic power and they're not a political entity, so they don't need credit for what they do. And they're perfectly situated to work behind the scenes to try to convene things, to bring agreement, to uh, criticize uh, systems or actions which are antithetical to its human dignity values and freedom values. And so you take, like, in 2006, I believe, the U.K. sailors that had were picked up by the government of Iran, uh, whether or not they were in Iranian water is still subject to doubt. And um, neither the U.K. nor any Western countries had relations with Iran to discuss how to get them back. So Tony Blair asked the, my counterpart for the U.K. to uh, ask the Pope to intervene, and the Pope did. And the Pope wrote 
uh, a diplomatic note to uh, the Ayatollah Khomeini. And a couple of weeks later, the hostages were released, and President Ahmadinejad read a statement which was almost identical to what the Pope had written to Khomeini. Wow. That's real. <laughs> that was just in 2006 or seven. Right, yeah. Uh, really, That's really interesting. I suspect that um, as ambassadors, you, you are in a meeting, and you're all in agreement, and you shake hands, and you walk out, and then the guy says something you know, totally opposite to his public and to, to his people. And so there's, there's what happens inside the room, and there's what happens outside the room. That's right. Yeah, interesting. The book is called The Global Vatican, Ambassador Francis Rooney, our guest. You were also there um, for the uh, priest sex abuse scandal, which had to be an interesting position for you. Well, there's, there's no doubt that these, these scandals have, have, have brought a lot of bad press to the, to the church, and hopefully they, they won't undermine the separate diplomatic engagement uh, work that the, that the Holy See can accomplish around the world. I don't think they will. I mean, I think that, uh, you know, uh, the places where most of those scandals have occurred are places where, our, where uh, the Holy See's diplomacy, the Holy See is, so, is much more aligned with with the, the countries in terms of the, the protection of human dignity and the pursuit of freedom and things like that, where, where they can work together in other countries where freedom's more restricted, where human dignity is being attacked, like the Middle East, many parts of Africa, uh, authoritarian regimes in Latin America. And I don't think the scandals really have a lot of influence down there. Yeah, interesting. What are your thoughts as you watch uh, Pope Francis uh, take over for Pope uh, Benedict? Well, I, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to have a new world pope, uh, less Eurocentric, bringing a fresh view of the organization of the Vatican, bringing a fresh view about the uh, diplomatic engagement of the Vatican uh, in the world, focusing a little more on social justice and, and some of those things, which are important elements of human dignity and the kind of stabilization that you have to have in a country to have a real democracy. You know, we, we have these examples of countries in Latin America that have used the electoral process. Well, Hamas used the electoral process, but they aren't a democracy. And hopefully this pope, having experience combating authoritarian regimes under Videla and then the Kirshners, uh, will be able to add value in this area. It's, it's a lot of my non-Catholic friends uh, love Pope Francis. Uh, love what he's done, love how he's spoken, love that he has avoided the trappings of the Pope. I mean, he really has brought a fresh, new look for Catholics, but also for non-Catholics. I think that's right. And, and I think these fundamental principles of Holy See diplomacy and, and their global engagement aren't really about Catholics. They're not even really about Christians. They're about humanity. You know, the, the need to protect and nurture human dignity and, and respect the fundamental natural rights of man that our country's founded on and that the Holy See's been preaching since Jesus uh, are timeless and very important. And history has shown that when you take religion and these fundamental moral principles out of the civic realm, out of government, governments uh, have in many times tended to become autocratic and harsh. Yeah. The book is called The Global Vatican, Ambassador Francis Rooney, who was ambassador to the Vatican during uh, George W. Bush's presidency. When, when, when the president sent you there and, and picked you, did he give you any instructions? We want to go this way. We want to go that way. Did he, ever, did, did he give you things we wanted to get and or give to the Vatican? Well, yeah. The, the, the State Department does a really good job of, of working the president's agenda. And, and making sure that I had plenty of consultations before I went with the different areas in the, in the department uh, that would be there to back me up and help me articulate the, the critical uh, aspects of, of, of the president's agenda. So when I got there, I was ready to go. And, and, and of course, the Holy See uh, has so much symmetry with the, the personal and political values of George Bush that it was a very enjoyable collaborative opportunity to work together with them. Yeah. What's the one thing that, as a Catholic, you were shocked to learn as ambassador? Well, I don't know if I'd say shocked to learn, but, you know, you hear all this stuff about the Curia and all this intrigue and all that, and, you know, coming from Oklahoma, which is a pretty Protestant state, you know, I didn't know much about the Curia anyway. <laughs> and what I came to find out is that these are, by and large, just really good, holy priests, most of whom would just as soon be in a parish right there in St. Louis tending to Catholics of all socioeconomic uh, stripes 
than be in these positions in the Curia. And, and it, it was very heartwarming to spend so much time with so many smart and engaged people. And they were just there to try and do some good, and they were there because they were asked to serve. That's true. Yeah. Um, I try and tell people who have not been to the Sistine Chapel that it is literally a, a light show. you agree? Oh, yeah. It's an incredible place. And there are, there are, there are a lot of incredible places in, in, the, in and around the Sistine Chapel and the, the Apostolic Palace. Did you stay in the Vatican? Then? We had a house. The government rents a house about two miles south of the Vatican on the Janiculum Hill, just, north, uh, just up the hill from Trastevere. Right. And then our mission uh, is on the, uh, uh, overlooks the uh, Circus Maximus on the Aventine Hill, which is ironic because my window, the ambassador's window in the office there, looks out over the spot where the majority of Christian martyrs were martyred in, in Rome. Hmm. Interesting. The book is called The Global Vatican, Ambassador Francis Rooney, our guest. It's an inside look at the Catholic Church world politics, and the extraordinary relationship between the United States and the Holy See. Ambassador Francis Rooney, thank you for spending a couple minutes with us. Uh, good luck with the book, and I'm sure we'll talk to you down the road. Well, thank you, McGraw. I'd love to. You got it. Have a good day. Same to you. Back in a moment, Big 550 KTR.